Actually. Next video, we're going to look at taping for the bicep. The bicep has a long head and a short head. So if you look at the patient, I've applied three stars. So one on the insertion, so the bicep tendon comes down to the radial tuberosity, and the long head goes inside the joint onto the supraglenoid tubercle, and the short head comes over to the coracoid process. So potentially, they could have pain in all of those three areas, but commonly, yeah, the tendon of the bicep is the area that tends to get more uh, problems with patients. So what we're going to do first of all is using a, a longish eye strip that I've cut into a Y. So we're going to peel back the end like so. What we can actually do first of all is where the star is we can apply that like so. So just lay down the first part with no stretch like so. You can almost just let them hang. So we need to lengthen the bicep. In this case, the bicep is lengthened at the elbow, but it's actually shortened at the shoulder. So we're actually going to extend the elbow as well, so we're actually lengthening the tendons. Okay? So we've got two legs here. So one of them is going to follow up. So 25%, so 100%, 50, 25%, we can actually follow the tendon towards the top of the shoulder, like so. And again, so we're going to apply, so 100, 50, 25, so we're going to come around and that will take us over towards the coracoid process. If we have pain commonly in this area, then we can use a small eye strip and we can just peel back one of the ends, rip and tear, and from the medial side, Try not to go too far into the axilla. And then 75% stretch across the area. And using the back of the tape, we can again get the, the heat activated for the glue to make it a bit stickier. Relax around by the side. And there we have taping for the bicep.